Welcome back to Max's Muscle TV. We're back in the kitchen with extreme chef Peter Wright. Well, good day, Tony. Today we're going to go with one of my favourite topics. Which is? Cutting up. Cutting up, folks. Everybody needs to do it. We all think we're buff, in shape, but most times you need to lose a little blubber. And today we're going to show you how. And the trick to it is, is eating lots of small meals. Quantity is very, very important. When a lot of people diet, they think they can eat any amount of protein, any amount of anything, as long as it's regular. But we're going to show them the hows and whys, and most importantly, the quantities. Look, what do we start off with, mate? So what we've got is to start with, we've got our breakfast, so I've got an egg white omelette. I use three egg whites and one egg yolk to make it, or we can have our oats. Is there any nutritional difference between those? Well, there's lots, but there is a way to even them up. I suggest putting a scoop of protein into your oats and mixing it through. Um, the Maxine Burn or the Super Shred are perfect. You know, any of the flavours are good. I kind of like the caramel nougat flavour with oats, gives it a real nice edge. Makes the oats very flavoursome, and actually thickens them up a little bit and fortifies them with protein. So it gives us that bit of sweetness that we're looking for with our oats. Correct. Yep. Now, the egg white omelette has very little carbohydrate. There's a few fibrous carbs with the vegetables, but basically it's a carb-free way of having breakfast. Now, I don't think you can do that every day because you need some carbs to start the day to give you energy, mental function, all that sort of thing. So how about we suggest people alternate them? One day have the oats, fortified with the protein, next day have the egg white omelette. Mix them up, change it round, you'll find you'll reap great benefits. So you can still have some carbs with your meals early in the day? Particularly early in the day, through to lunchtime, and then they start to back off as the day progresses. So we'll talk about that as we go. So mid-morning. Mid-morning we go and have a shake. Maxine Boone for the ladies, Super Shred for the men. All of our Max's products that we use for fat burning, the Super Shred and the Maxine's Burn, have carb blockers and appetite suppressants. They actually stop you from being over hungry. They block the carbs from turning into fat. So they actually help you with your fat burning. Consider this a meal. Your breakfast is meal number one. Your shake is meal number two. All right, meal number three, or what you traditionally call lunch, you should have as your, your next solid meal. Meal number three is just some microwave vegetables, so steamed vegetables and uh, some grilled chicken, and we've marinated the chicken a bit to give it a nice bit of flavour. But you could use some fish, lean beef, but uh, we've, we've gone with grilled chicken today. Now, we see that you've got some carbohydrates in there in the form of rice. There's probably about half a cup to a cup of cooked rice. This you have to have because where people go wrong is they have zero carbs at lunchtime, zero carbs at breakfast, and they just start to eat muscle. So you've got to put some glycogen into your muscle so you can train them, and that's enough. Yeah, so Tony, I thought we, had, we didn't need any carbs when we were trying to cut our weight off. This is a, a common misconception. This is where a lot of people go wrong. They go very, very flat. They don't have the energy to train or the mental focus to get through their workouts. It's fine to have carbohydrates early in the day, but not late in the day. Let me explain why. Carbohydrates is what turns to fat. The reason most people, most Australians are fat, and we're becoming more and more obese as a nation, is because we don't eat all day, we get home at night, and have the bulk of our carbohydrates right before we go to bed. Carbohydrates will float around your blood bloodstream for about six hours. If they're not getting burned up, if you're lying in bed snoring your head off, they'll go to your hips, your bum, your waist, and store as fat. So what we're suggesting is have your carbohydrates early in the day, breakfast and lunch, and then by the time you go to bed, they've all been burned up and used and then you're just having your protein and your fibre at night. So it makes a whole lot of sense to have some carbohydrates, give yourself the energy you need, and then cut them out from this meal on. So Tony, if I don't want to have rice as my carbohydrate, what, what should I substitute it for? Sweet potato or a nice piece of bread? That's your next best pick, would be sweet potato, followed by a small baked potato, um, some pasta as not your best option, but certainly a better option than not having any carbs or anything else. Avoid bread. When you're trying to lose weight, particularly for women, bread's a real enemy, it tends to stuff up your digestion system, doesn't really work very well and it's not a great, uh, doesn't have a great availability as a carbohydrate. So you want something that you can use. Rice is easily digested, goes into your body, it's there when you need it. So that'd be my first pick and sweet potato is your second pick. And they're both gluten free as well, so that's easy for everyone. Okay, you talked about gluten free. The Maxine's products are gluten free, so if anyone's got a gluten intolerance, they're perfectly safe to have. It's still the same quality protein and it's still got the carb blockers, but it is gluten free, great for you. Now, we talk about the next protein drink, but we're gonna hang off until after training to have that. So what I'd suggest is to have something before you train to give you some energy. So if you do train in the afternoon, I'd suggest some, some Create Carnage about an hour before you train. Get that into your body because you're not, you haven't had any calories since lunchtime. This doesn't have calories, but it does get into your muscle and give you some energy to train. Then right before your training, um, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes before you train, have a shot and that'll give you more stimulants, more energy to get through your workout. And most importantly, as soon as you finish training, that's when you have this next protein shake. Most important to have that, you've got a window of opportunity after training, you've torn your muscles up, your body's screaming for nutrition, you don't want to have to wait for food to go through your digestive tract, 
to have the availability, you want to be able to suck it down the protein shake. Liquid food after training is the way to go. A lot of people don't realise that, but that if you're only going to have one shake for the day, have the one straight after training because your body's craving it, just wants to suck it up. And because you've restricted your calories all day, you really do need that once again so you don't burn up your muscle. So Tony, what if you don't train in the afternoons? You've still got to have your shake because otherwise it's too long between your lunch meal and your evening meal and your body's going to catabolise, it's going to start to eat muscle for energy. And that's the last thing we want because we want you to lose fat. People talk about weight loss, it's not weight loss we're after, it's fat loss. You actually want to bring your body fat percentage down, not just get wasted skinny muscles because that means all the weight they've lost has come out of their muscles, fluid and muscle. That's not what you want to lose, you want to burn fat. All right, so it's all about burning fat, so you've still got to have that shake in the afternoon to stop your body from eating itself. So other than protein shakes, what else should I be drinking while I'm doing all this working at Gatorades and things like that? No, no way. You've got three choices, water, water and water. H2O, that's your friend when you're dieting. Because most people don't eat this much protein, you need to help your kidneys to, to break it down and get it out into your body, and the best way to do that is lots and lots of water. I'm not talking about drowning yourself, but certainly two, three, four litres a day is not unheard of. Maybe a coffee before you train or one in the morning won't hurt, but stay off the soft drinks. Certainly don't have juices and smoothies and all that because they've all got loaded with calories that you don't want. So water, water and water. Before bed, water. If you make up in the middle of the night, have a water. When you train, have a bottle of water with you. Just keep flushing your body through and you'll find that will really assist not only in your weight loss but in the digestion of your food and just your whole health. So then I get home and I'm going to have my dinner. So again, grilled chicken, veg, but no carbohydrates this time, no potatoes, no rice. Correct. And a lot of people um, ask how long should they have between the protein shake after training and dinner. I suggest a good hour. Let that protein shake go in and do its job. Don't have that food going into your stomach on top of it and confusing the whole process. So when you get home, take your time, prepare your meal. But you see with this one, there's no rice, no potato, no sweet potato, no hidden carbs under there, Pete. No. Just steamed vegetables and grilled chicken. Yeah, steamed or microwave vegetables, good fibrous vegetables as well. And this is what we call a good healthy eating plan. You've got your vegetables, your carbohydrates, your protein, and you're not missing out on anything. Some people start eating like this and immediately start to burn the fat. Other people might take a month or so. You've just got to stick with it. But would I still be hungry if I just eat this, this food all day? Look, you might be, and that's part of the process. Now, people sort of give in to that and they get weak and they think, oh, I'll just have this, I'll just have that. But look, if you get really hungry, an apple won't hurt in the middle of the day. Maybe some strawberries, there's only about one calorie in each strawberry. Quite often someone says, what about some supper? Have a bowl of strawberries. That's not going to make that much difference. If you're hungry mid-morning, maybe have an apple or, or a salad, just some lettuce and tomato, onion, yeah. whatever you do, a bit of lemon juice over the top. That's the other thing, you can be really caught up in condiments. And with this, this sort of plan, I don't recommend any condiments, apart from a little bit of soy sauce on your rice, which is just effectively a little bit of salt. But don't add tomato sauce, barbecue sauce, chilli sauce, because they're all loaded with sugar. Yeah. I'd be very, very careful of those sort of things. And just keep it simple. It's a really, really simple approach, but it works. So you've got to stick it out. You asked about pain, what if you get hungry? Well, suck it up. Just be kind to yourself. Give it a chance because when you start to see the results, you'll find that hunger wanes. All of a sudden you look in the mirror, you feel good about yourself, people at work, your family, people start complimenting you, say, gee, you've dropped a few pounds, I've never looked, never seen you look so good. You feel good about yourself, you stand up tall, you get a newfound confidence, and you know that, that outweighs a little bit of hunger and a little bit of pain. So my my view is just stick at it, just do it hard for the first month and it becomes a way of life. Just set yourself up for success and this will work. You've got to stick with it. So it's most important to keep regular with the, with the meals, two hours, Look, three hours apart. Small meals regularly is the key to losing body fat. And we talk about lowering your carbohydrates at night, that's all important, but it's also important to have regularity. I've got this saying that you need, you need to be crazy with your training, you've got to mix your training up. You'll see with our training segments, we're doing all sorts of things, supersets and giant sets and high reps and low reps and trying to confuse our body into stripping it down and breaking it up. But with your nutrition, it's quite the opposite. Your body needs regularity. Your body needs to know what it's got coming, you're gonna get regular food, and then your metabolism doesn't do funky things to try and compensate. So it's all about regularity, and it's all about quantity and portion size. Eat clean, drink lots of water, believe in yourself, and watch yourself get lean. That's it for today, mate. Well done, Tony. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Let's go,